Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about why breast milk use and storage is important to keep your baby healthy and prevent illness. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I've been a registered nurse since 2009, working in mother-baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I am also an IBCLC, I'm maternal newborn nursing certified, and I've received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, as well as perinatal bereavement. The use and storage of breast milk is extremely important. If not done correctly, breast milk can become contaminated with bacteria and will have to be thrown away. Or worse yet, breast milk must be thrown away because it wasn't used in time. Let's explore how to safely store and use your breast milk. When searching online, you will find a variety of temperatures that are considered safe for the storage of breast milk. This can be very confusing. It's important to follow information from a reputable source. The Centers for Disease Control, or CDC, and the American Academy of Pediatrics, or AAP, have published guidelines for the storage and handling of breast milk. These resources have subtle differences, but they can be utilized for reference. For this video, we will be utilizing the AAP guidelines for storage and usage of breast milk. To begin with, we must define the temperatures. Room temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius or colder. Refrigerator temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius. And freezer temperature is 0 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 18 degrees Celsius or colder. Freshly pumped or expressed breast milk can be kept at room temperature for up to 4 hours. Breast milk can be kept in the refrigerator for up to 4 days. Breast milk can be kept up to nine months in a regular freezer and up to one year in a deep freezer, but it's best if it's used within six months. Breast milk that has been previously frozen and thawed can be left at room temperature for one to two hours, and it's good for up to 24 hours in the refrigerator. However, it's very important that you never refreeze previously frozen breast milk. It should either be used within the time frame given for thawed milk or it should be thrown away. Finally, breast milk that has been left over from a feeding, whether it has been at room temperature or come from the refrigerator or come from the freezer, needs to be used within two hours of the baby finishing the feeding or it has to be thrown away. One thing I always tell my patients is to store breast milk in the back of the refrigerator or freezer far away from the open door. The fronts of our fridges and freezers change temperature as frequently as the door is opened and closed and tends to be warmer than the back. For deep freezers, the bottom is better than the top for the same reason. If you're unsure of the temperature your appliances are set to, you can purchase an inexpensive fridge or freezer thermometer to keep inside to monitor the temperatures. Storing breast milk properly is an extremely important part of using breast milk safely. First decide whether you will be using the breast milk you just pumped within the next four hours. If not, but the breast milk will be used in the next 24 hours, make sure to put your breast milk in the refrigerator as soon as possible after pumping. If you're not sure whether the milk is needed in the next 24 hours, you should freeze the milk immediately instead. The breast milk should be stored in the coldest part of the fridge, which is at the back on the shelf just above the vegetable drawer. The refrigerator door is the worst place to store breast milk because the temperature is the most inconsistent. Small amounts of expressed breast milk may be added to either refrigerated breast milk or frozen breast milk for storage as long as the breast milk being added has been cooled first. This is not a practice I recommend because you wouldn't want to combine six-month-old breast milk with one-day-old breast milk. Instead, I think it's best practice to use, refrigerate, or freeze breast milk as it's collected. However, you can combine breast milk from two different pumping sessions when getting ready to feed the baby. When storing milk in the freezer, keep it in the back and away from the walls of self-defrosting freezers. 
Make sure to freeze your breast milk in small amounts, usually two ounces or less, so the appropriate amounts of milk can be defrosted and used without risk of waste. Choosing the appropriate container is also key. Only use products designed to store breast milk, like BPA-free breast milk bottles or storage bags. Using glass bottles to store breast milk is safe, but glass can crack at very low temperatures, which increases the risk of losing breast milk. Never use bottle liners or plastic bags not intended for use with human breast milk. These can leach dangerous chemicals into the breast milk, which can be harmful to your baby. Whichever storage container is used, make sure to only fill it three quarters full. Milk in the freezer expands, and if you fill it to the top, the container could explode and you will lose precious breast milk. Before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about how to use breast milk. When using frozen breast milk, it must be defrosted properly. Milk should never be thawed in a microwave or boiling water. Both of these methods damage the protective factors and nutritional contents of breast milk. Additionally, these can leave hot spots in the milk that could burn your baby. It normally takes about 12 hours to defrost frozen breast milk completely in the refrigerator. If you need milk more quickly, you can place the containers of breast milk under warm running water that is 99 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius maximum temperature. Frozen breast milk should not be thawed at room temperature and should never be frozen again once you've thawed it. Once thawed, breast milk is only good for 24 hours in the fridge or two hours at room temperature, and after that it must be thrown away. Healthy full-term babies can enjoy breast milk at room temperature. If your baby prefers it warmed, you can place your milk in a container of warm water or use a bottle warmer that is 99 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius maximum temperature. Milk that is stored tends to separate over time. The fat or cream rises to the top and can create a rind on the edge of the container. Once the milk has been warmed, gently swirl the milk until it remixes together. It's important not to shake or stir the milk vigorously as this can destroy some of the nutritional components in the breast milk. When pumping to provide breast milk to a medically fragile or premature infant in the hospital, it's important to check in with the hospital to see if they have special guidelines you need to follow. They may only want to receive your breast milk in hospital provided milk containers with hospital provided labels. Many NICUs will use an upright rigid container for storing breast milk. The labels must have the date and time the milk was pumped and be attached securely to the container. If the date and time are not on the label, the hospital will throw out your milk. Additionally, the hospital will guide you on where to store your milk, like the fridge or freezer, after it's pumped. Generally, for premature babies, fresh pumped milk is good at room temperature for four hours. However, it is only good in the refrigerator for two days instead of four. Thawed breast milk is still good for 24 hours. Breast milk stored in a regular freezer is good for three months and the deep freezer for six months. Milk left over from a feeding cannot be reused in a baby who is sick or premature and must be thrown away. Milk from different breasts that have been pumped at the same time can be combined together but not from different times. Prior to pumping, make sure to wash your hands with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Having clean hands reduces the risk of contaminating the breast milk with bacteria. Always use the oldest milk first because over time the nutritional quality of breast milk degrades even in the freezer. Always label your breast milk with the date and time you collected it so you make sure that you know which milk is the oldest. Use waterproof labels and ink so your dates and times don't rub off in storage. If you're going to be sending breast milk to a child care provider, make sure to also label the milk with your child's name. Breast milk storage bags are the most popular container to freeze milk in because they take up the least amount of room. 
Freeze bags flat and then once they are frozen, place them upright in an empty soda box with the oldest in front and the newest in back. This also makes it easy for other people who feed your baby to know which milk to grab. You can also organize milk in large Ziploc bags if you desire. If you have limited amounts of freezer space, consider purchasing a small deep freezer for breast milk only. When you're finished with it, you can use it for food or pass it along to another breastfeeding friend. Using breast milk properly helps to ensure a healthy, happy baby. Storing breast milk properly can ensure the milk your baby receives is the highest quality. I hope this has explained how to store your breast milk properly and how to use your breast milk safely. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember, share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at The Maternity Mentor.